my beautiful nerds as you can see from the title of this video I'm back again with another review and I finally got the chance to see Valerian in the city of a thousand planets yesterday and I wanted to kind of gather my thoughts before I really reviewed it and I have to say Luc Besson visually this movie is a masterpiece I have never seen a sci-fi world be brought to life so well outside of Star Wars and Star Trek ever I mean this movie you cannot take your eyes off of it there are sequences I'll talk about later in the review without any spoilers that will blow your mind in ways that you never thought possible I mean holy moly in 3d those set pieces literally my mind just exploded because I do not know how that is possible I just simply don't know how that's done and honestly I don't really want to because that's the point of these kind of movies however the dialogue writing makes the prequels of Star Wars from George Lucas look Oscar worthy. And I'm not over exaggerating. Find out what exactly I thought in my review. Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets, directed by a director I'm a very big fan of for the most part. Uh, Luke Besson directed The Fifth Element, Leo the Professional, and Lucy as well as wrote Taken, Taken 2, and many more. He's a very, very interesting filmmaker, and, and this was his live action adaptation of Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets French comic book. Now it stars Dane DeHaan as Valerian, it stars Cardi Levine as uh, Sergeant. Loreline, which is the partner slash love interest of Valerian, Rihanna as Bubble, which I'll talk about in a moment, and a few other people across spread out. Now, I want to stress this, as I said in the opening of this video, you cannot take your eyes off this movie as soon as it goes on screen, especially in 3D. I saw it in 3D because it's a 3D must in my opinion. As soon as this movie starts, visually it's a masterpiece. It's, it's outstanding when it comes to visual effects, costume design, character design, set piece, everything incredible the way that the movie explains how alpha the city of a thousand planets came to be masterful through visions through actual visual storytelling you are presented the story of alpha the beginning how it came to be how it is the way it is today why it is the way it is today where it is the way where it is today very very well done there that i could have not pictured that handled any better that was so Brilliant, and the way that they explain throughout the movie, not just in the beginning, but throughout the movie, how this actual city and ecosystem works is brilliant. It's brilliant. I, I, it's, it's. I have never seen an explanation this well, and yet so simplistic in my entire life. And it's a very simple explanation to something that is very, very complex. All right, there is a lot of species on this in this city I should say with over 30 million population with over 5,000 spoken languages I mean over 11 over 1200 species you know reside on this I mean it's remarkable remarkable what's also really interesting to me is the cinematography in this movie there's a planet alongside others but I want to talk about specifically which is mule which you saw in the trailers you know um, it's almost a shell-like world with, with people really worshipping pearls and, and sort of like those things. And the moment that the girl walks out onto the beach, and from that moment, the entire few minutes that you spend on that planet specifically, you just sit there and you wonder, is this real? Is this visual effects? Is it both? What is happening? You know visual effects are involved, but you don't know exactly where. Because a lot of this stuff was shot on location, so you can't comprehend. Your mind is just racing. Um, also things that I really liked outside of the visuals because I can go on and on and on and I don't want to go into spoiler territory because there's a lot of things I want to talk about that will be spoilerish for the actual film when it comes to the visuals but through characters I really enjoyed how well the actors did for the horrible script they had um, Cara Delevingne really showed me a lot with no script. I was very skeptical about her as an actress because she wasn't all that good in Suicide Squad. She was basic at most. And a few other movies that she was in, she was eh. This one she really showed that even with a atrocious script when it comes to dialogue, not necessarily plot, dialogue, and I'll get to that in a second, she can act well. Dane DeHaan as Valerian. I don't know if I completely buy Dane DeHaan as the galaxy's most badass soldier. However, I do buy him as a badass. Alright, I will say that much. I do buy him as a badass. Not the most badass person in the universe, but as a badass, that's for sure. 
I don't, however, like the way that the love aspect in this movie was portrayed, and that starts the whole thing with the writing. If the movie could have stayed in its lane and just told visual storytelling with some great action set pieces they already had in the movie, and a little bit less of the goddamn conversation that Luc Besson wrote, the movie would have been so much better. There are conversations between Valerian and Loreline that make me want to shoot myself. It's, it is so boring that you just sit there and you wonder, okay, fine, fine, fine. In the beginning, when we first saw them too, that was their introduction. Fine, 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 fine. But as the movie progresses, it gets consistently more draggy, more eye-rolly. You're just looking at it, you're just like, I get it, they both you know, enjoy each other's company and they kind of want to get it on, but what the girl is not necessarily into him the way he's into her and she's not sure, but the conversations these two have literally will make you want to take a pistol and goddamn shoot your brains out. Okay? Horrible. Atrocious. 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 Also, I should have put a goddamn counter on the amount of exposition scenes in this movie. I mean, literally every scene or every other scene is an exposition scene of what just happened, or what's going to happen, or what or, or what just happened, and what should happen in order for the plotline to progress. There is literally, and I'm not over-exaggerating this, Cara Delevingne's character Lord and I is standing in the middle of a space station, okay? Okay? Where the, man, where, where the actual people who run Alpha are, okay? And three incredibly weird and incredibly artistic characters, I have nothing to say bad about that, appear. Great voices. Great delivery. But they appear out of nowhere. And literally give one of the main characters an entire plot device that needs to happen. And literally explain to her why it needs to happen and how she needs to get there. Wait, what? And I'm talking, no one even... No one even, like, actually inside of the film, no one even addressed the fact that, oh, hey, these three goddamn creatures walked into the goddamn space. It just happens. It just happens. And there's a lot of that in this movie, of just happening. All right? When the, when the movie is not telling visual storytelling, it is a drag when it comes to its conversations. Not the main plot. That is fine. It's a... Not necessarily basic, but a simple sci-fi epic plot with some little twists here and there, some interesting turns, but the amount of exposition and horrible dialogue between love interest and a consistent character reappearing, which is I guess I guess, you know, one of the people, the head people in in you know in the government of, of Alpha or the entire space fleet, that he appears only on screen with a goddamn hologram. And all he does is give orders, and all he does is request things, and all he does, and his and his lines are so goddamn cringeworthy. I mean, Lord have mercy upon my soul. Jesus Christ. The action. The action is remarkable. There are set pieces, especially two, when it comes to the action sequences. There's one in space, and then there's one that you saw in the trailers when Valerian was running through the city. Wow. Wow. I do not know how Luc Besson did that. That was amazing. Every, all the other action set pieces are great too. But this one, these two, excuse me, holy moly. Something special. Something special. I really, 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 really recommend you see this movie in 3D. For the visuals, specifically. Because if you don't see this in 3D, you're, you're, you're going to enjoy what you see, but not as much. But I'm being real with you. This movie could have been 20 minutes shorter. Just just being real, they could have got 20 minutes out of that bullshit conversation between Valerian and Lorelai. I also want to talk about, I almost forgot, I want to talk about Bubble, Rihanna's character. Came so out of the goddamn blue to just serve a specific plot point to make Cara Delevingne's character like Dane DeHaan's character more. Okay? Great to look at. Out of the blue. Out of the nowhere. She was there for one specific fucking plot device. Look beside me. My brother, look at me. Visually, keep doing what you're doing. Never change. I love you. As a writer, you got a few things to work on. Okay, you got a few things to work on. Because having a quote from the movie Taken 
in a sci-fi epic isn't a a that's a little nod to me as a writer that's just sad that's just sad Luke Besson I'm sorry overall I'm gonna stop rambling overall I'll give this movie a solid seven um it's definitely only a seven because of the visuals uh, I'm not even it's definitely brought down three stars because of the writing and I would bring down more But I can because the visuals really do make up for what you get in this movie for your money uh, If you guys seen the movie come in the comment section below let you want to have a conversation about it. if you enjoy my, if you enjoy my review I can't even speak today like comment share and subscribe. Hope you have a wonderful day and peace out guys I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe That's just how it goes cause I like the